I see you over there, podcaster. You want your podcast to grow. And I get it. And we want to get some of that growth without having to search and hunt and find and just beg people to listen to our show. Well, today's piece of the podcast audit, we're talking about how to optimize certain areas of your podcast with some key words so that you can set it and forget it for the most part. All right, here's another little mini drop of podcast audits. Welcome to Your Podcast is Someone's Life Raft, the podcast that believes every story has the power to be a life raft. I'm your host, Jennifer Dragonette. I've helped hundreds of podcasters find purpose and profits from their shows. In a world filled with so much noise, we're here to explore the art of podcasting with purpose. It's about stories that can inspire, heal, and even provide a cure for dreaded pod fame. I've always believed that your story is a guiding light for those navigating the turbulent waters of life and of their business. We'll dive into the strategies that not only grow your podcast, but allow you to make a meaningful impact and income along the way. Selling through stories, healing through narratives, and discovering the power of collaborative magic that happens when like-minded humans come together. So if you're a heart-centered entrepreneur looking to make tsunamis in the world with your unique message, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Hello, beautiful podcaster. I I don't even know how to, to say it, but I'm stinking proud of you. I'm so proud of you for showing up and wanting to amplify your message in your podcast and getting it out in the world. Because here's the thing, with those Apple new stats, you know, our egos really took a blow when we weren't getting all those downloads. But on the side note, We know that those downloads are now our super fans. So I think it's a win-win, but we need to do a few things to start getting our show where it's going to show up for our people, where we don't have to be on social media and networking events begging people to listen to our show. So if you've gone through some of the other audits on this show, you can see that there's tons of places that we are missing the mark, tons of places I see myself missing the mark and my clients and the countless podcasts that I've done research for. So if you have some content gold and you're just wondering why people aren't finding your show, well, let's talk about the few areas that you need to optimize. I was doing a workshop recently, and one of the things that we started with, we always start with, is our podcast name. Now, I know you're looking at my name and you're like, Jen, your name is so fluffy. No one's searching this. I get it. And is it preventing me from possibly getting some listeners? Yes. Was I willing to sacrifice that? Yes, for the time being. But, you know, we may change the name again. But here's the thing. There is such limited search capabilities until things are expanding. I'm excited with 2.0 that came out last year, and it keeps growing and growing. And with all these shifts, I'm wondering what's going to happen when Google Podcasts goes away with YouTube adding this quote unquote podcast If it's not an RSS feed, it's not a podcast, but that's a whole nother tangent. But with seeing how important these different players are, we really have to look at where things are actually searchable and how our audience can find us without us having to find them. So today we're focusing on where to add those keywords and do you even know what your people are searching for? Because what we have in our heads isn't necessarily what people are typing into Google. What we're saying out loud isn't necessarily what we're typing into Google. So this might be a time to really start looking at your current, no matter how micro your audience is, looking at your current audience and seeing and polling and asking them what they're searching in Google. These keywords are going to make or break you being able to show up in the search areas of podcast land. And we want SEO. So just talking about podcast players today, some of the key places we need to look at that are searchable is your show name. Do you have a tagline? Can you add a tagline to it? Can you add a keyword behind it? We are not stuffing keywords here, but we do want to make sure we're capturing some keywords in our title. So if you have a fluffy title, you better have a keyword tagline behind it. 
The next place is your show description. Not all players will search it, but most of them do. The actual show description. I'm not talking about under your episodes. This is your actual podcast description. Bonus, if you can type in some exact questions that your people are asking. Again, different players are going to be able to look at those things. And if, you know, we're ever able to be searched fully on Google, then by all means, those questions that people are typing in are going to be gold. The next place I want to talk about is your name field. You can put other keywords in here. Again, we're not stuffing. We know that stuffing used to work in the past, but it doesn't work anymore. But just make sure. So for me, it's like Jen Dragonette, podcast, you know, research and development specialist, podcast growth specialist, podcast monetization specialist. Let me tell you, people aren't normally putting in the word monetization, not a great keyword, but that gives you another area. So on the setup, you have those. The next thing that's really important is to make sure that your picture represents what your podcast is about. So if you have a fluffy name with no tagline and a podcast cover that has a butterfly or something on it, and you're talking about how to grow a podcast, no one's ever going to find it. Or if they find an episode because you've keyword your episode titles correctly, they're going to look at your podcast cover like a book cover and be like, these two don't go. I'm probably not going to hit play. So that's just a little bonus tip for you. So that brings me to the next place, which is your episode titles. We like cutesy. We like fluffy. We like to be able to put our flair on things. Don't put so much of your flair on there that you forget keywords. It's a searchable area. You want to be found. So when we go through all of those, is there places that can search your show notes? Yes, there are some players that can. But if you can put your focus on those other areas and make just those simple tweaks in those areas for now, are there other places that we can add keywords and we can do things and we can get seen and heard? Yes. But again, these are mini episodes where I want you to take immediate action. So today I want you to look at your title is there a keyword in it? Can you add a tagline? with? If it's a fluffy title, can you add a keyword behind it? What about your show description? Are there keywords in the show description? Are there questions, exact questions that your people would be asking in that show description? Your name field, can you put in some sort of keywords? Again, we're not stuffing. You're not going to have your name and 30 keywords behind stuff. Your title and 30, key- we're not doing that. Just make sure that it all makes sense. And then I want you to start looking really closely at how you're titling your episodes. If you can title your episodes as a question that's being directly put into Google, that's that's super gold right there. So I want you to look at those areas. This is your quick hit audit session. We will go through other areas, but you will continue to get these series dropped on this podcast where you can take immediate action that shouldn't take more than 10, maybe 15 minutes to start tweaking your show so that it can get seen, it can get found. Because here's the thing, we aren't ripples here. Podcasts are legacy builders. I have a podcast client for my production company that came back after eight months of taking an eight month break and her show was still getting 20 plus downloads a day. And she didn't have a big show to start with. She was amazed with how many downloads came in in the last eight months because we set it up correctly and people are still finding it and people are still listening. This is why it's important to have these things set up. So even if you take a break, you're still being found. So this was your quick hit mini audit session. And I look forward to seeing you next week. All right, go out, make today amazing because you are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are worthy. And if you need support getting these set up, I still have 30 minute free audits. Go to podcast CPR. That's, I I mean, I don't even have to spell it, right? Podcast CPR. You know, like what you're doing when you have to resuscitate somebody. We're resuscitating your business and your podcast with a little CPR. So go to podcastcpr.com and grab a free 30 minute podcast audit with me where we can work through some of these things together. All right, I will see you next episode.